Payback is 12 days away. And a lot of matches have been made last night on Raw. The UK edition of Raw was fucking amazing. But a lot of matches were made for the card itself. Uh, first off, the finals of the Tag Team Tournament, sponsored by Bootios, has officially been made as of last night. Enzo and Cass, for those who have never seen them, Enzo Amore and Cat, uh, Colin Cassidy, a.k.a. Big Cass, have been a big tag team on NXT in a lot for a long time. Never really won the tag titles but uh, over there in NXT, but they have a chance to become the number of contenders and possibly win the WWE tag titles that have eluded them. Or Tiny Tile in general, that's eluded them for a while. They face another new team from NXT. Uh, the VOD villain Simon Gotch and Aiden English. The best thing I can say about them is more of an old school style, which is something really you don't see every day in WWE. More of actual wrestling from them, which is great. Uh, and of course, they are former NXT Tag Champions. But uh, it's weird because I want both these teams to win, but... You, you can't have that. The tournament final, so somebody has to win, somebody has to lose. So, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Enzo and Cass will win this match, so unfortunately the uh, Vod Villains have to lose. Uh, it probably makes the most sense for the Vod Villains to win those. If if they are going to turn them heel, I don't know. It feels like two face teams, I don't know why. But the UK, you know, obviously didn't like the old-timey gimmick, so they boot them, so maybe they're heel? I don't know. It's very interesting to see what will happen from there. Uh, next up, we have the, if it will go to it, here we go, we have the rematch for the Women's Championship, Charlotte versus Natalia in Charlotte's corner, of course, her father, Ric Flair, in Natalia's corner, Brett, the Hitman Hart, which is interesting due to, due to, uh, things concerning, uh, Brett a month ago of cancer and all the other kinds of surgeries and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see how, how Brett is in some kind of capacity at all, or even if he can be in this. I don't know. I don't really know his condition. It's probably fine enough to be at the pay-per-view, but I don't know for sure. But I will say this, last time these two have been with their family members, in this case, Flair's daughter and Brett being Natalia's uncle, Last time they were in this together were in NXT during the, ironically, during a final of the NXT Women's title when Paige vacated it a couple years ago. And on that night, Charlotte won. Which makes me wonder if they're going to have continuity or they could do what I think they're going to do and have Natalya win the match so you could have a rubber match with Brett and... Rick being there down the line a couple years. I don't know what they're going to do. But I feel like Natalia will win. But I wouldn't be surprised because Charlotte just won the belt at WrestleMania. So I wouldn't be surprised if she uh, lost it. But she's held a Diva title for a while. So it's a very weird situation because she's held the Divas title all the way until now with the women's title being reinstated. Uh, so I don't know what they're going to do with this. It'll be interesting to see what happens from here. And the two main events... In my mind, first off, Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens. This could be a main event anywhere in the world. If anything, it might be better than some of the matches on the card anyway. But uh, it's it's weird because we've had this on NXT in a while, and now it's finally on the main ro on a main roster card rather. And it's a weird thing because as much as you want to give Kevin Owens his win back. Uh, since WrestleMania losing the title in a ladder match, uh, I feel like they're going to make Sammy a star. They're going to make Sammy a, a big name, so why don't give him momentum, make him beat Owens. And finally, in the same situation here, Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho, which could be for the rights of a talk show, I don't know. Uh, for the past few weeks, Jericho's had the highlight reel back, but it got canceled by Shane McMahon, and it's still canceled and replaced by the Ambrose Asylum. Hosted by Dean Ambrose, of course. And uh, this is probably where Jericho slowly fades out and goes back to Fozzy. And by that, I mean he loses the Ambrose. And Ambrose finally gets a win after so many months on a pay-per-view. He finally gets a, a big win over a big name like Chris Jericho. And uh, we've already talked about this, but I might as well because of the return. Well, a return away 
and the debut of the return of Luke Gallows and the debut of Carl Anderson. Um, a lot of people have been speculating what will happen here with the match with Roman Reigns and AJ Styles. I already talked about it before. But now with this part of it, I might have to do it again. So, it's interesting because it's they're going kind of a way of AJ, AJ doesn't want the help, uh, but they help him anyway. Um, that could probably lead toward the style heel turn or it could be the debut of the Balor Club. I don't know. One thing's for sure is that, that uh, Gallows and Anderson will have a influence in the title match, but we'll see what happens from here.